We don't know who did it. They didn't leave a note or anything, contact information. It just was destroyed. A Shelby County couple is stunned at what they came home to after they went away for an overnight camping trip. In fact, something very large was missing from their home. They tell our Mary Mills tonight they believe it was all a big mistake. When Kevin and Shelly Giles returned to their house late Tuesday morning after a night of camping... I was uh, speechless at first. I wasn't sure if we had a storm or what happened. I didn't know if someone vandalized or broke into the house as well. Most of the shingles on the roof were gone, torn off and left behind. It was a mess. I thought it was vandalism in the beginning and then I think I, I don't think it's vandalism now. I think somebody just got the wrong address. The three neighbors saw a roofing crew pull up around 8 a.m. They knew Kevin planned to re-roof the house. He'd even bought shingles, but maybe he hired a crew instead. And the roofers who saw this Tuesday? They assumed, I'm sure, that, hey, you know, this is the job site that we're at. The lady over here seeing the guy on the phone, one of them motioned for the guys up on the roof. He was on the ground to get down off the roof, and then they all took off. And it appears the crew that had been removing these shingles was eager to get away, leaving behind several tools, including this hammer and a pitchfork. The Giles filed a police report, but hope the contractor just fesses up. Everybody makes mistakes. They can just come back and make it right. Because it's costing us a lot of money out of pocket now, and... Uh, deductibles and, you know, missing work. A situation that could get a lot worse if the roof isn't replaced before the next rainfall. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. So they've asked around and none of the couple's neighbors was scheduled to have w roof work done. But if you were, if you happen to live near there in Shelby County, perhaps your crew was late or maybe just didn't show up, they say please call the sheriff's office.